because with me, for example, if you're going to raise your voice at me, <laughs> I, I literally, I, I stop hearing what you're saying. But, as old folks, we will have issues, we will have clashes, but let's address them as adults. Yeah. If we can sit and look each other in the eye and you tell me what your problem is, and I listen until you are done, and when it's my turn to speak, I tell you what my problem is with what your problem is, if I have a problem with it. And somewhere along the line, sometimes we just have to agree to disagree. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. But when you're talking and you, li you literally hear, listening to each other and hearing each other, trust me, it's very easy to come to an understanding to say, okay, no, it was a misunderstanding. Or, but when somebody is screaming, the other one will never comprehend. They will never comprehend what you're trying to say. So yeah, for me, just managing your temperament is like number one. It's very important. You come up. I know you're a lover, um, and I, I think every time you speak about your sister, you always mention um, how much you love her and the way you speak about the people in your life. Um, you, ooze, you just lose love, and as someone who loves love and lost love in the physical. What is a small moment that you looked past and that seemed insignificant that you missed the most in regards to your late husband? I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> nothing with show was a small moment, eh? I think we, we were just so big on life, the both of us. I think we celebrated life every day. Um, and every single moment with him was meaningful. Never small. Nothing small about, you know, my encounter with my husband. I miss everything about him, but if I were to, to just um, name a few things that I miss about him, I Mrs. Lasha a lot, yeah. but I think because he loves so much, I hear it often yeah. in my head. Yes, I can hear it often. I see him smile a lot. Um, I miss his nurturing side. Show was very nurturing. Um, I think he, he loved hard, you know, and, and I never used to believe that men were capable of loving like that. And he actually showed me and taught me what real love is. So I know real true love exists. I believe in it wholeheartedly. I never stop believing in love because um, the show is not here. Yeah. I stop feeling his love now. Yeah. And I think that's the, that's the beauty of being in a meaningful, healthy marriage, relationship, whatever, is that when our loved ones leave us, I mean the same with my mom, the memories we have of these people, they don't go away. And because of that, that's, that's what keeps them alive, mm. right? Because they may not be here in the physical, but because you're always talking about them. I'm always talking about my husband. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, every other, I mean, if, if I'm, I'm having a chat, right now we're talking about him, yeah. but if I'm having a chat with my daughters or my sister, there's no point where Sean's name does not come up. Sure. Um, the other day, Alicia had ordered something and then she goes, Oh, Dad! And she goes, Stop laughing. And I go, What? And I'm like, Dad, we've been on my case about this. So, I'm, so almost like he's still, yeah, yeah. yeah everything is like, Dad, this, Dad, that. And I love that because we are not trying to forget him. And which is something I, I find very um, challenging in black communities, especially because I'm not sure how, you know, white communities handle it is that when you have lost and you're grieving, it's like everybody's pushing you to... to Forget. Oh, and, oh, yeah. You know, when, you, when you're talking about your loved one, it's like, no, what do I love about? Let him rest. <laughs> but you, the man is resting. <laughs> the man is resting. <laughs> but he is a part of my life, whether I like it or not. I will carry him to the grave. Till the day that God calls me, yeah. he will always be a part of my life. You don't spend 20 years with someone to just let them rest. He's resting. <laughs> <laughs> the 20 years that, I, that I've spent with him, what are they supposed to mean to me? 
And I'm just supposed to now forget and act like it's, it never happened because I'm supposed to let him rest. I can't let show do anything. God made that decision already. Mm. He's resting. So my memories of him are all I have. And they, they are what I cherish because that's what that's his gift to me. So yeah, that's 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 what's keeping us going. Um, we were very close, we still are very close because he makes sure that he stays close also, you know, from the other side, I mean we feel him. Um, we still feel his love, my mom, we still feel my mom's love. So I think what I would like to impart from this converse, this specific topic um, to everybody here who still has someone. You're not loving the people in your life, man. Like I said, you know, we take love for granted or we take the people in our lives for granted because we feel like they will always be here. Mm -hmm. Life is very unpredictable and life is short. Mm -hmm. And since I went through my own loss journey, I have encountered a lot of people who have also suffered loss. I mean, loss is not exclusive to me. Mm -hmm. But what's been interest interesting to me is to see how different people deal with it and how different people navigate it and how different people actually struggle with it. Not to say I'm not struggling. I'm, I'm saying it's, grief is not linear, right? One moment you're okay, the next moment you wake up and you think, what? And it just hits you like it's fresh. And that's okay also, you need to allow yourself those moments. But from my conversations with other women especially, um, I think the ones that I find struggle the most is those that don't have peace with the person that has departed, whether it was a parent or a boyfriend or a husband or whatever, yeah. those that didn't have peace struggle to move on because it's almost like they don't have closure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're always looking, you know, there's regret. They always just say, Ish, if only that day they can be a shop, or if only that day I hadn't raised my voice at them. And so I think where I'm going with this is it's important to my husband used to say to me, Hore, we don't go to bed angry. And I remember for me personally, because I was a bit of a sulker, it took me a while to understand why Shana would just not let go sometimes. Now, is that I would want to sleep, but that man will not sleep. We will talk until he is happy that we have spoken and we have resolved the situation. It would irritate the crap out of me sometimes. But I think we got to a point where I understood the importance of it. And I am so grateful that I got to that point because now I'm at peace. Yeah, yeah. So much peace.